Hey, welcome back to The Murder of Jennifer Clark, a mystery visual novel. We ended the introductory chapter with this very line. Ominous, don't you think? What is this really about? Who's forcing us and why? Does the class survive? Why was the murder never solved? So many questions went through my head when I read it first. Questions I now know the answer to. But you? You'll have to discover it with me during my playthrough. Without further ado, here's chapter 2. The Halloween Party October 30th, 9.30pm. Sophie and Tammy's dorm. Is that the time of the year? Halloween is tomorrow. Let's combine our brains together and think of something to do. Why are not uh, just trick or treat? We're not 12 year olds anymore. Uh, let's do something else. You don't need candy anyways. I, I can just cook for us. Dude, it's Halloween. Go get yourself some candy and, uh, I don't know. Eat until your stomach hurts, something? R right? Of course, Zack. Don't worry. Can we throw a party? Parties are the shit! Make some noise if you're with me! I don't know. This place can be pretty strict about loud music. Damn, Oscar. How's your G-spot feeling with a stick up your ass? <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, is there something we, we didn't know yet? Is is he also... is he together with Jeff, hmm? I don't know. I, I just don't want to get in trouble. We could have a party with no music. Also, I would have loved to see the reaction of Jeff on, on that remark. Or is Jeff not around? A party with no music? That doesn't sound... At that moment, Veronica looked over at Virgil and noticed something weird. Virgil? What was that note in your hand? Oh, uh... Virgil quickly shoved the note in his left pocket. Ooh, is Virgil getting a love note? No, it's not that. Remember what Miss Mew said earlier about the yearbook wanting conspiracy theories? What about it? I went up to one of the yearbook people and asked them about it. They handed me a section of one of them. Virgil handed a piece of paper to Jeff. The Haunted Clark Family Mansion. Ridiculous! Ghosts don't exist! Why'd you ask him about it? Do you want to spend Halloween reading spooky articles? <laughs> of course not! That's so stupid! I'm sorry. Dude is sweating in every conversation he has. Dude, are you okay, Corey? He's saying we should spend Halloween night at this mansion. Edward got it. What? That's unlike you to suggest something like that. It still sounds fun. If everyone else is doing it, I'm down. How long would it be? How about the night? We we'll sneak out after the night watch is over, pull an all-nighter and then sneak back in the next morning. What do you think about it, Sophie? Uh, I have a bad feeling about this. But you didn't know back then, did you? So many things could go wrong. Hell, you could get arrested for trespassing. Sure. <laughs> oh, peer pressure. Yeah, peer pressure is real here. <laughs> You're even agreeing to it? Why not? Plus, I don't care where we go as long as I'm with you guys. That means so much to me. <laughs> Dude is so emotional. Can I give you a hug, please? Uh, maybe later. Aww, give him a hug. Does it say the address anywhere? Y yeah, the, the yearbook people wrote it on the back. How exciting! We can split up into groups and explore it. What should the groups be? Maria, I would in the world if you would join me in a group, for it is only your beauty which can calm my nerves in any situation. <laughs> Dude's really gonna roleplay you through the whole game, huh? <laughs> okay, that's gonna be fun, I suppose. Do you accept this proposal? So formal. The dude's so formal. You bet your fucking balls I do. She does love cursing. It's really hard to act like Manny when you reply like that. <laughs> hey, uh, April, wanna be in a group with me? Duh! I'll protect the shit out of you, babe! Okay, they are dating as well, for sure. All four of you can be a group, it's like a double date. Aight, confirmed. Dibs on Virgil. May I join? 
I would love nothing more than to be with someone as funny as you. She's definitely hitting on Marco. Ah, of course, it's what I do. I'll join you guys. Jeff, you be with Zack and Punch. Ah, ah, no. Ah, that. Ah, oh, poor Jeff. <laughs> huh? I wanted to be with you. I do as well, but as if anyone were to get lost in this place, it would be them. Oh, that's considerate. Also, something's growing. Hey! I think it's best if our leader is with them. <laughs> Fine, we'll explore it. Heterosexually. Still not out, huh? Still not out. Maybe at the end of the year he'll, uh, or at the end of these events. Maybe. We'll see. Last group can be Sophie, Edward, and Tommy. What a shame, Ed. You could have been in a group with your girlfriend if she was real. <laughs> Damn, he got called out. What part of she goes to another school do you not understand? All of it? The part where she probably doesn't even exist? Eventually everyone had to go back to their dorms. The plan was set. Meet at the Haunted Clark family mansion around 10.45 and spend the night there. When I got in my bed, I decided to do some research about the place. I found an article that fit the Halloween mood perfectly. Jennifer Clark, 18. Found dead under mysterious circumstances. Yesterday, a distress call resulted in police showing up at the Clark residence. Upon entering the mansion, authorities found Amber and Dave Clark crying at the bedroom door. In the bedroom was an 18-year-old Jennifer Clark's body with one fatal stab wound to the throat. Both witnesses told the same story about a masked figure entering through a window and stabbing Clark once before jumping out. The wound itself and the open bedroom window backed up their testimonies. Police are still trying to find a possible suspect. I was a bit taken back reading this. Judging by this article, the police never found the killer. To think they could be out there and not rotting in jail like they deserve. But this was from a while ago. I'm sure they caught them, right? Right? It took me a while to go to sleep that night. But when I eventually did, I experienced the strangest dream I'd ever had. She had a spoopy dream. The day before, um, the mystery night? Okay, that was a bad name. Moving on. Wait, who is she? Hurry up, Jennifer, you're going to be late. I want to be late, Mom. Still worried, huh? It's gonna be okay. Your friends will help you get through this. What about the 500 people that aren't my friends? Unless she killed someone, no one would actually care. It's not something your friends would, like, brush over, right? Forget them. One day you'll look back to this as a valuable learning experience. I really gotta go now, sweetie. First at my new teaching job. Yeah, she doesn't look that excited. It's, it's kinda hard to when you have impending doom thoughts. Do I really have to face this today? I need more time. It can still blow over. Dad hasn't left for work yet. Maybe I can convince him to let me stay again? Jennifer, huh? Are we having a dream about the person who ended up dead in the mansion that we're visiting tonight? Tomorrow? Tomorrow night? If miracles exist... You are now controlling Jennifer. Click on something to check it. Okay. So, check on the window. It's a pretty day at least. On days like these, him and I would go on walks after classes. A date? A friend? An uncle, a teacher, someone else. We're mainly procrastinating doing homework. A fellow student. All right, the bed? Ah, <sighs> the bed, where the magic happens. Excuse me? This is where him and I would watch horror movies. Yeah, horror movies, no. Not my cup of tea. I get extremely anxious when watching horror movies, and whenever there's a horror movie, I get a very, 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 very bad nightmares. Horror games, I kind of can work with them. I can deal with spoopy, not with horror. You can always cuddle up against my boobs at the scary parts. Okay, maybe I should get over my fear of scary movies. I always wondered if he was legitimately scared or not. Would it be presumptuous of me to say not? Hmm? I have my suspicions. <laughs> uh, the drawers? 
His sweatshirt's in here. Sometimes I'll put it on and pretend he's still with me. I guess... It may sound weird, but it's scientifically proven that the smell of your loved ones uh, can make you happy or something, or feel comfortable. It's probably the most bittersweet feeling in the world. Bittersweet? Wait, he's not here anymore? I should probably give it back to his dad. I don't deserve to have it after what I did. What I'm saying, just because it was my fault doesn't mean I'm not allowed to miss him. I'm keeping it. And I'm gonna wear a and smell with no shame. I mean, go for it if it helps you get over a breakup, but you also need to let it go. What they want to literally and figuratively isn't healthy at all. Okay, maybe a little shame. <laughs> but I don't know what I just clicked on. I clicked on that, that darker spot next to the drawer and under the curtains. Oh well. Under the bed? No? Okay, the door? Dad, I can't go to school. Why not? We already let you miss the last three days. My chest hurts. And I'm really sweaty. Sounds like you're just nervous. Listen, Jen, all humans make mistakes. But what separates a good human from a bad human is that good ones own up to their mistakes. Now get to school and do just that. I should have figured you wouldn't help. What was that? N nothing. I guess you're right. I'll own up to it. Thanks. Good luck. That's what a dad should do. You can't stay at home and, and, and sulk and whatever is going on, actually. I don't know. Own up to it. Own up to it. How the hell am I even going to begin to do that? What's up, bitch? Hey, Susie. Good morning, Jenny. We came by to walk you to school. <laughs> oh, that's sweet of you. It's meant to be your bodyguard, but Diana didn't want to phrase it that way. <laughs> I was afraid it might scare you. So many girl voices! What do you what do you want me to do here? My my female vocal range is limited. I'm I'm straining it as it is right now. Too late now. It's fine, Lynn. I guess I have it coming. Don't be so hard on yourself. Anyone that dares to bully you will get crushed by my thighs. Ooh. Okay, I was gonna say something that I would I would immediately regret, so I'm happy I didn't. I was able to restrain myself. C -c can it be somewhere else, please? Shit, you're right. Depending on the person, they may enjoy that. <laughs> Don't be gross. Well, uh, I think it's great you're ready to face this. Anything happened while I was gone? Diana is the same test I had to bribe the teacher for to get a D. The usual. I meant about my situation. Has anything changed? Not really. Just more people giving a shit for what you did. What did she do? There's so many references to what she did, but not what she did. I'm pretty much whatever is on that shirt of her. Oh, I'm sorry. Professor Cool. So, a sleepover, huh? Where did you come from, shrimp? I live here, dumb stupid face. What's with that lame outfit? Exactly. You like it? I figured it could make me look cool. N no No, it doesn't. I like the black, but not the hat. The hat is a bit... Get rid of the hat, and it's okay. You look more cute than anything. Cute? With this get up on the alpha male. All the kids in my class are going to be so jealous. The bullying will stop for sure. Ah. The pain, oh, the pain is setting in. Oh, he's going to regret it so much when he arrives at school. Like I said before, lose the hat. Just lose the hat. It's it's gonna be fine, but lose the hat. Or it'll increase with how stupid you look. That's the beauty of having nothing to lose. Anyways, the sleep after tonight, huh? Sorry, Jason. Girls only. Figures. Have fun, I guess. I mean, he does have game with the girls, though. Just saying. I gotta skip class to lift weights. You're trying too hard. Come on, let's go already. I went out of my way to do this, so I don't want to be late. Oh, yeah, we, we woke up. <sighs> what a strange dream. That place. It looked exactly like the mansion did in the article's pictures. 
I wonder what my brain had Jennifer do. Oh, knocking on the door. Who's there? Oh, good. Tammy's here to wake me up for school. Wait a minute. Tammy never knocks. And it's Saturday. It could be your mom. When I opened my door to see who was there, Edward came crashing in. Oh! <coughs> what is he doing here? Are you okay? That hurts. <laughs> That usually happens when you lean on a door after knocking on it. Ah, the brains are lacking with this one. He's in need of a couple of brain cell donations. What are you doing here, and how'd you even get in? I, uh, got in with the crowbar. He's making really desperate attempts to make jokes here, isn't he? I'm robbing you, bang! Your jokes are weird. They kinda are, but at least he's trying. You can fall through him on that. No denial there. Time you gave me the key to your room. I'm not coming on to you though. I was just told to bring you to the parking lot. We're about to go on a family field trip to a costume store. Got it. But what is up with him? He looks... he's way too nervous. Hey, have you ever had a dream from another person's point of view? Another person? Uh, not really. I've had different versions of me, but not an entirely different person. I see. What do you ask? It's nothing. I just had a weird dream. Sounds like it. Get some more sleep if you need it, but this should be fun. I'll see you there, hopefully. After shooting me with some finger guns, Edward sprinted out of my room. <laughs> the dude's kinda weird, but he's growing on to me, to be honest. <laughs> He's really awkward, and that's coming from me. Eh, sometimes people can be that awkward that it's actually likable. Sometimes. Not all the time. We went and picked out some costumes for tonight. Oscar also bought the walkie-talkies. When we got back, I spent the rest of the day sleeping. I was curious as hell about what my mind had Jennifer do wrong. Sadly, my dream didn't continue. My alarm woke me up around the time we had to leave. I got up, put my costume on, and went to the mirror to see how it looked. She went all out with the detective outfit, didn't she? She went all out, well, all out. She only added like the, how do you call that? The upper piece, the up, upper body piece of a detective. I don't know what the name is for it, but you know what I mean. <laughs> she, she only put that on. The rest is just her normal outfit, <laughs> uh, which is kind of uh, funny though. I decided to be a detective this year. When I embraced the joke at the start of the year, it went pretty badly. So why not try it again? If they see how much it doesn't bother me, the jokes will stop. No, they won't. But it's... I mean, they're gonna love it, to be honest. Because I know I do. I hope. I'm back! Tammy the pilot, huh? Tammy the pilot. Oh, hey! How was trick-or-treating? She's definitely a scientist. <laughs> it was fun! You went to by yourself? Ah, a little, a little devil girl. She's French after all. Nah, bro. Punch took me. That big old puppy kept asking if any costumes were too scary for me to be around. I need to thank him for taking her. <laughs> so you were at ease. What made you want to be a devil? I find the parallels between heaven and hell very fascinating. Really? Nah, the tail on the costume just makes my butt look nice. <laughs> and she's not hiding it. Man, that's so... Holy shit, it does. <laughs> she looked. Speaking of which, do you guys think Cory will find me pretty in this? So she's going for a Baywatch outfit, huh? Kind of nice. If he's already your boyfriend, then why are you scared about impressing him? Well, he can break up with me at any time. Ah, oh, come on, April. You're cheerleading. Be positive. He's not gonna break up with you. Come on. Have some faith in your relationship. And he may not find me attractive one day. I mean, we do get older and our bodies change. But there should be more in a relationship than attraction to the body. Should be more than that. And then I'll have to watch as he slowly falls in love with another girl while my unquenchable thirst for his love grows worse and worse until the day I die. April! Chill out, calm down, take a breath, drink a sip, eat some candy. But damn, where is this coming from? 
Someone with your beauty should not worry about such thing. Plus, that fucking nerd is head over heels for you. I wish he was head over heels for me. Pella, take your guys' word for it. If he breaks up with me, I'm suing though. Good luck with that. <laughs> well, Maria, Veronica and I are gonna head off now. We'll meet again soon. Later, bitches. That was weird. Why wouldn't we just go together? Huh. Very good point. What are they up to? Who knows? They're strange. Ready to leave? Of course! Another knock? Is it Andrew again? Is he leaning on- Don't let him be leaning on the door again. Huh? Someone's at the door. Trick or treaters! I doubt the other students would do that here. One of the girls probably just forgot something. I went over and let whoever knocked in. It is Edward again! Okay, so... Does he actually have a crush on Sophie, but he just doesn't dare to uh, tell her? And he makes stuff really awkward? What, 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 why is he turning up here again? Also, um, he's dressed as a referee. Although the R on his pocket really makes me think of Team Rocket, but anyway. Crap! <coughs> he, he fell again. Well, this seems familiar. You good, bro? Yeah, sorry. Are you guys ready to leave? Where are the others? They went on ahead. I always get back for you guys. You just let them ditch you? I think Edward is like, um, in his weird way, trying to flirt with Sophie. Though it's... I don't know why he would say to her that he has a girlfriend in another school then, though. Oh well. Of course! How else will I get them to like me? By hanging out with them? Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> no, it's not. We already like you. Just to be safe, I guess. Again, valid. <laughs> Come on. Virgil gave me the directions to the mansion. Just follow me. We followed Edward until we got to the front of a broken down vacant mansion. Where everybody is waiting for us, right? Damn, look at this place. It's even bigger in person. In person? I read an article about this place yesterday. It's not important. I think it's nice. Especially that fountain. The fountain, huh? Is it gonna be important? Is that like a little hint? Like, go and check out the fountain? Okay, Edward, that was horrible. You're right. I'm gonna go look at it. Go ahead, it's pretty cool. Wait, did he do something to the fountain already? Wait, wh wh what is happening here? I slowly walked to the fountain when... Boo! Ah, there we go. A little trick or treat, but in this case we got tricked. Not scary. Yeah, well, Ed was acting totally sucked. Sorry about that. Why would you even be the one to scare us? Shouldn't it be someone with a spooky costume? I don't think any of you qualify to have a spooky costume, if I'm being honest. You've got cool costumes, but scary? Eh, not really. I was the only one who wanted to. Speaking of which, everyone come out! Everyone came out of a different hiding spot until all were in front of us. Finally, this pointless prank is done with. Indeed, it was quite a failure. Tammy looks like I casted a tranquilizing spell on her. I respect it. Nothing wrong with trying to get into the Halloween spirit, right? We're already at a supposedly haunted mansion. That's Halloween spirit enough. Wait, I'm trying to deduct what he's... Um, is that steampunk? Make, maybe like a steampunk themed uh, musketeer? Like the three musketeers? Some, something along the lines of that, yeah, probably. Maybe a ranger? Cool though, cool, cool outfit, cool outfit. Oh no. Okay, Oscar wins. Oscar definitely wins. Fucking hell, a onesie, a panda onesie! What would have been better was a, a monkey outfit, that would have been cooler, but the panda outfit, totally dig that one, mate. Hey, Marco, how come you didn't dress up? I am dressed up. I'm a comedian. Marco, you've, you've done better. Anything Marco wears, he looks cute in, so it doesn't matter. Veronica, just, just please ask him out. He's not gonna ask you out. He's always flushed. He's always blushing when you tell him a compliment. So please, for the love of God, ask him out. He's not gonna do it. I did do. You're too kind. See? 
Also, I do, I do understand Marco. Like, I can, I cannot deal with compliments either. I, I get awkward with compliments. Kinda. Dressing up as something you wanna be. Bet and I dig your style. Zach, dressed as uh, a freak scientist. That reminds me, Virgil. You didn't dress up as a robber because you want to be one, right? Wait, what is he dressed up as? He's just dressed up as a businessman, right? Although he did keep on his beanie. <laughs> uh, of, of, of course not. He's not dressed up as a bandit because there's already a bandit in our friend group. So that means he must be dressed as a vigilante. Here to fight crime. Okay, good. The thought of any of my friends breaking the law destroys me. Because you did it and you know what happens to them in, in juvie? I decided not to tell Punch about the do not trespass sign we passed. <laughs> yeah, she's got a point. Holy crap, a panda ate Oscar. Edward, <laughs> please. Try a little less hard and it would be so much better. <laughs> do you like it? I'm a bear, rawr. Well, technically a panda is a bear. Technically. <laughs> Jeff. You okay, Jeff? Oh, he's totally okay. He's more than okay. This is just such an adorable holiday. I never want it to end. And we all know why. We all know why. Hey, April! Wait, the dude... The dude dyed his hair, didn't he? Y yeah? Is there something wrong, babe? Not really. I just think you look beautiful in your costume. W was it him who made the snowman joke? No, it wasn't him. No, 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 it, it's gotta be Marco. Ta! Of course you think that you're fucking head over heels for me, a nerd. Hey, not in front of everyone. Can we go in already? I'm freezing my tits off. Sure thing. Is everyone ready? Of course. Pull the door, Oscar. It's time to advance the plot. <laughs> Opens the script of the murder of Jennifer Clark. This place is astronomical. It looks pretty good for an abandoned mansion. Y you don't think any g g ghosts are keeping it tidy, do you? If there are actually ghosts in this house, they might be the first ghost I heard of that clean. Because this house has zero dust on it. I wouldn't mind my place being haunted if they actually cleaned up the place. But in that case, they will have to pay rent. Otherwise, I mean, it's not, not for free, mate. It, it, I can't do it for free. Remember, guys, if you get scared, there's no shame in talking it over. So, uh, what are we going to do after we explore? I was thinking we could tell spooky stories. I don't think we can. I just checked my phone. The signals is dead. We could just make up ghost stories. Or we could play hide and seek. No, no, we don't. We cannot do that at all. Are you out of your mind, April? You're going to an abandoned house that has like articles written about it and there's like people saying it's haunted, etc. And your idea is to like, let's play hide and seek. That's how everybody dies in horror movies. Well, cliche horror movies. Hide and seek sounds fun. I have a game we could play. When the voice spoke, all of us froze. Who was that? We looked in the direction of it. What we saw was a figure in a suit slowly walking down the stairs. I would like to thank all of you for joining me. This mansion has not seen visitors in a while. Ev ev <coughs> Run, motherfuckers! But when Marco yelled that any plans to run were immediately shot down. Because we got locked in. We watched as the surroundings changed. The windows, doors and anywhere else we could have used to escape now had bars on them. Oh yeah, I didn't see them, they're on the outside, not on the inside. This mansion had an astounding security system. One no one would ever be able to get in with. And even one that makes it difficult to get out. What's going on? Are you trapping us here? Please, do not make assumptions. There is a way to escape. Then tell it to us, jackass! Playing my game. It is called the Enigma Game. The, the uh, Enigma Game? It's a fancy way of saying the Mystery Game. 
Have you kids ever heard of Jennifer Clark? Oh, oh yes we did. We even dreamt about her. Huh? I have. She's a girl that was murdered three years ago. The police never found a culprit and dropped a case. W what about it? Jennifer Clark? Guys, this is the Clark Mansion. Did, did she live here? Correct. This is the place she was murdered. I have worked hard crafting this game. A game centered around exposing the truth about what happened. You know who killed her? You shouldn't worry about whether I know it. You should worry about whether you know it. That's the goal of the game. Solve the murder of Jennifer Clark. Seriously? We're not detectives, we're regular ass kids. Luckily, Sophie's on the case. Detective Sophie. That's why I'll be helping you. I'll sprinkle some hints here and there about her death. With an unsolved mystery like this, it'd be unfair if I didn't. I will give you a note that says what rooms you need to investigate to solve the murder. While we're doing this, where will you be? Edward, what the fuck? Don't ask him shit, there's no way we're doing this. Sorry. I'm about to get to that. To make the game harder, I'll be slowly creeping around this mansion. Trying to kill you. What? This, this can't be real, right? This gotta be our perfect teacher, right? It's gotta be her. That would mean my voice here is kinda of fucked up if it is her, but hey, roll with it, right? All of us stood in silence over what the figure revealed. Everyone was too afraid to move, speak, and even think. It felt like we were standing there for minutes, our bodies feeling overwhelmed with shock. I wanted to throw up, cry, and most importantly, run. But as if I were paralyzed, I couldn't do any of those. Finally, Jeff broke the silence. This is fucking stupid! No way we're going to participate in this! I would appreciate it if you do not use that tone with me. The fuck you gonna do? No, no, we're not killing off the cause of the gay guy the first chance we get, right? You should have a free pass here. In fact, what's stopping us from ganging up and kicking your ass? This. The shadowed figure reached in his jacket and a gun, a knife, an axe, a halberd, a pan, the feared frying pan. <laughs> okay, it's a gun. No, no, wait, whoa, whoa, hey, no! No, you did not kill the gay guy, well, the cross the gay guy in the first- No, don't do that! Although I missed there, it would be much easier at a closer range. Fighting back is not only allowed, but encouraged. But only two people may fight me at a time. More than that would be breaking the rules. My cousin Wanda would kill at least one of you. So go ahead, take that sacrifice. F fine Use that gun, you pussy! J jeff don't anger him more! I don't want anything to happen to you! Something's brewing here. After tonight's events, stuff will be changed. Damn it! At least tell us how we're supposed to do this! You'll have to complete a task in the rooms on the note. After completing the task, a memory will play of what happened in that room the night of Jennifer's murder. Once you've watched all the memories, there'll be a debate. That's where you'll solve everything. Any questions? Nobody responded. Uh, uh, yes, there is one. Uh, is there a time limit? If there is, I'm gonna freak out. How could we? It was so much information to take in. I came to solve a murder we know nothing about. All of us thought we were going to die. Which is probably why the cloaked figure was enjoying themselves so much. There are three floors, plus the basement and the backyard. Decide however you want to distribute them. There's also an attic, but that's off limits for now. I'll go to a random room to mansion and count to 500. Once that is over, the game will begin. The masked figure started to walk upstairs. He stopped before reaching the next floor to tell us one more thing. Oh, right. You may call me... Nightmare. I mean, it would be more fitting to call you 
murder, like a murder of crows. Good luck! Nightmare went to the next floor, leaving the floor of us to somehow take in all the information we were just given. This was the start of the Enigma game, and our goal to solve the murder of Jennifer Clark. Boom! Huge mind-blowing bomb got dropped on us here. We're being forced to solve some random murder that the police couldn't even solve. All while we're being hunted by whoever is in that raven costume. It seems hardly fair. Like we're being set up for failure from the get-go. Luckily we've got Sophie, who dressed up as a detective with zero experience whatsoever. You might think we're doomed, and you're absolutely right. Only way to find out though is by watching the next chapter. As always, thank you for watching, and I'll see you again in the next video. Ciao!